Um, okay, guys, just a left leg forward. Slightly, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, just what we've been, I was doing a lot of kicks at the weekend, and I'm just going to do a few more kicks today. Uh, just uh, this abdomen squeeze. So just knee up and down, each knee, sa, she, go, look, she, hatch, cool, and yo. Okay, change of the leg, each. Then just try to get that twitch, yeah? Well, that's what we're looking for. Twitch of your, of your abdomen to pull that leg up, yeah? Knee. Sam. Be mindful of your upper body. You're not kind of like leaning over, yeah? Kind of keep your back straight up. Gushi. And go. Ro. Shitch. Ha. Come. Okay, change. Then give yourself a little bit of a toggle, yeah? And you don't have to kind of really make hard kine like as if you're doing his again, but kind of give yourself that kind of twitch target. So, so like you're not trying to just go for height and trying to get up as high as you can, but even if it's like about kind of tuna height and you're just kind of having that strong twitch, uh, and then, then think about that, yeah. And think about like the initiation of my game. Okay, again, swing part. Ish. And knee. Some. Chi. Go, look, chitch, hatch, come, jo. Abigail, faster than that, you're moving too slowly. Okay, change. Then just be careful, like, me hold you're doing it, but like, quite a few of this, like, as you're moving, like, your upper body's kind of, you know, you're kind of sticking your chicken wing out, yeah? Try, try to keep control of your lats, like this target, target's there, but you kind of basically keep in control of your upper body, yeah? Okay, 10 more, inch, deep, sun, sheep, go, rock, shitch, hatch, kum, jo. Okay, good, good. Then guys, what I want to kind of look at today is, is kind of like, like my Gary, well initially, my Gary, like in like short range, medium range, long range, my Gary. Like short range, we're really using that abdomen to create power. Uh, medium range, using our pelvis to kind of our pelvis tilt to kind of kind of create a little bit uh, of distance. And uh, and then uh, like with the Maigeri long range, using that supporting leg. Yeah. So for now, let's just practice Maigeri. So again, short stance. Then exactly same feeling as you had with that kind of knee twitch, but just laying it flat. Okay, try it. Then she go look she hatch jo okay good change change leg short stance short kick yeah okay itch knee sun she go look chitch Hatch, kum, jo. Okay, yeah, man, good. Okay, guys. Um, okay, just watch. Okay, so I want you to imagine you you have uh, like short range target, yeah. So like, like think about when you're doing keyhole. You have that luxury of like, always thinking, okay, well, that's my target. Like even without target, you just let your leg go out, yeah. And there's no real kind of impetus to have that kind of like, close quarter. So again, as if you're going to do. He's a getty. If you're doing it, he's a getty. You'd be quite, really close, yeah? Have that he's a getty feeling, and you're just kicking from that point. That feeling. So it's, it's the twitch of your abdomen that's creating the kick. So if you've got partners, great. If you don't have partner, then you have, you know, you have a wall. You know, even if you, even if you kind of just kick into control, making sure that you're, you're kind of hitting that target. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Okay, we're kind of controlling your abdomen. Control that twitch and just try and have short range my again. Understand? Okay, kick someone or kick something. Obviously with control. Go for it, guys.
Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, watch, 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 watch. One more time. One more time. Just come around and watch. Okay, look. Like feeling, feeling that you're, you're touching distance. That sort of range, and you're still kicking. That kind of range, yeah? A lot of you, like even when you're kicking the wall, or like obviously controlled or kicking something, you're still giving yourself that freedom to, to kind of bring your knee forward. Like the power is not from this knee forward, the power is from the knee lift. And you'll be able to kick kind of even kind of fairly close range. You understand? Get that knee up tight to your body and still enable, enable your foot to fly forward. It's, but it's, a, it's a knee twitch that is creating the power, not the kind of pushing of your hips. Understand? Okay, go for it, guys. Go for it. One more minute. Yeah, be, be as strict as you can, be as challenging as you can with it, yeah? Try not to hunch over your shoulders. Try to kind of keep your back straight, upper body relaxed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it's all about kind of knee lift. And, that, and as soon as it's about the knee lift, it's about the twitch of your abdomen, yeah? Then Suzanne, don't 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 rotate your hips first. You're you're going you're going in like hand knee and then shoulder. No, just from here, it's just your abdomen squeeze, squeeze, kick, come back. It's just that that twitch motion. Don't rotate, no rotation. Andrea and Brian, I presume you're off kicking some each other. I can't see you. Oh, Brian's back. Okay, he's back. You're looking for something to kick. Okay. Andrea's run away, so she can't be king. Okay, Ame. Good, 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 good. Okay, everyone understand? I think, I think often we kind of, we, we underestimate uh, how close you can kick. And often like that close quarter kick is kind of be really effective. But we've got to develop that way. We've got to develop the kind of the power source of that, which of course is that abdomen twitch twitching from the core, getting that knee open. And then, then your foot really, it's not the speed of your foot flying out, it's the speed of your knee coming up that's creating the power. Understand? Okay, good. Okay, okay, next one. Okay, so this time, just normal my getting. So from here, there's kicking my getting, and you can shuffle back, change kicking my getting, and shuffle back. Okay, so left leg forward first. Okay, itch. And knee. Try it again, same rules. Keep control of your upper body, keep your back straight. Rock. Shinch. Hatch. Cool. And jaw. Okay, guys, just basic rule of thumb is like, when we're trying to kind of analyze them aspects of, of a technique, then try to strip away everything that you don't need. So you can really focus on what we, what we do want to work on. So there's an awful lot of people who are kind of in kind of hamley or she's in natural position and you're rotating and then kicking. Okay, I want you to just go from that shaman position, shaman kamai, so like do kamai, but like rather than hamley, you got hands are kind of next to each other. Uh, and, and you're just kicking through your guard, using that abdomen, using that tailbone to drive forward. That's all you're doing in shoulder that each time. Understand? Okay, one minute. Try. Ten kicks, five on each side, no count. Off you go. Paul, D, give it back straight when you kick. You lose, you're kind of bending your hip a little bit. Oscar, Sandal, faster knee lift. It's better to watch that uh, hand drop as you start the kick. Then, uh, Claire, don't have to kick so high, just kind of a little bit more twitch from your core and, and more chew down. Uh, Roger, faster start. That, guys, don't forget what we were practicing initially, yeah? Which was that, that, that twitch from your core. That's what's initiating it, yeah? Okay, yummy. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, again, you can practice on a target or, or your partner if you've got one. Uh, but then I do now a little bit longer. So, so like from here, I've gone from kind of like maybe touching distance where it's just all about that knee lift. 
Okay, I'm, I'm maybe going half pace back, and this time I'm going to have that short knee lift, but I'm going to use my my pelvis, my pelvic girdle, my tailbone tuck to, in order to kind of drive it forward a little bit more. It's not that much more distance, but what it is doing is it's turning the upswing of of the kiagi into a, in a into a more lateral direction. So I'm still having that, but I'm then adding that in order for it to go forward a little bit more. So I'm just, it's that medium range my again. Medium range my again. You understand? So again, press your partner, press on the wall, but just try to engage that tailbone as your foot starts to fly. Knee sharp, knee lift, engage, entails you to engage your tailbone. Okay, go for it, guys. Just try it. Let me see what you do. Yeah, don't push, Sylvia. Yeah, snap. Snap with control. I know you don't want to break the wall, but snap with control. Guys, if you can't control kicking a wall or you, then I'd much rather you kick thin air for now, just because I want you to have that Kiagi feeling. Then Sam, make sure a ball of foot in, so your, 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 foot's going, your foot's going directly in, yeah? You want that foot to go into target, not up in the air, yeah? Okay, I'm a, okay, guys, just, just watch, 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 watch. Look, like Kiagi, this is the Kiagi kick, Maegeri Kiagi. We don't often call it Kiagi because we refer to like Yokogeri Kiagi, Yokogeri Kikobi. It's the, it's the only kick that we kind of religiously practice both the, the thrusting and the snapping form. But like all kicks that snap, we can call Kiagi. Uh, so, but Kiagi doesn't mean snap, it means, it literally means the kick that rises. K, Kedimas, you know, Kedimas means to kick. K is the verb of it. Uh, and age as in age UK means rising, yeah? So it's, it's the kick that rises. So in that short range my game, in the short range my game, that's basically all we've got. It's the kick that's rising. Oh, it's going in, okay? But like, as we lengthen that kick out, and, and like, as, as short kind of especially has been kind of elongated in terms of distance, then we're adding all the other elements to turn the rising kick into a more lateral long movement, yeah? And the first thing we do is to do that is to kind of engage our hip that little bit more in order to send the rising element of our foot a little bit more in. A lot of people are, are particularly doing this. So, so I just want you to think that's what's initiating it. That's what's finishing to get that my head in. Initiate, finish. You understand? And it has to be a snap. If it's not, if it's not a kind of, if you've forgotten that rising element, that snapping, a kiagi element of it, it's no longer uh, my idea, right? So I've seen a lot of people who are kind of starting to push. Okay, maybe it's that you're against the wall. If that's the case, don't kick the wall. Just have that sense of being able to engage that hip at the right moment. Understand? Okay, okay, last, last minute, guys, then we're going to move on. Sensei? Yes. When is the right moment to tilt the hip? As, as the foot starts to fly. So, so if you're, if you're watching from here, watch from this angle. So I'm initiating with my core, bringing my knee up. My leg goes, starts to go out. Now, as it starts to reach that apex of, of, the, uh, of, the, of the swing. I mean, it depends on targets. It depends on a whole host of things. But generally speaking, the second half of the swing up. Yep. Okay, I'm a, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, next. Okay, oh, oh, this is what we do. Oh, you say, I'll show you from, I'll show you from this angle. Oh, you say, lift your knee up and then drive your leg. You can hold your knee, but then drive and then drop into stance. So, Always do is get that compression and then drive with your kick watch. Get that compression, then drive with your kick watch, your supporting leg. So all you're doing in one through through count, you're going each and then down here. Yeah, drive from the other side. This drive forward and down. Understand? Okay, I'm not going to count that because everybody will be all over the place. So you can hold your leg. You don't have to hold your leg. But what I want you to do is keep your leg and only focus on the drive of that supporting leg. Okay, give it a go, guys. 
Do you uh, try to keep the heel on the ground when when? Uh, yeah, yeah. Only only as a um, as a training exercise. I mean, lifting your heel off the ground doesn't prevent you from creating power. Arguably, helps you to create more power. But as a training exercise, as a way of strengthening the stretching the hips, increasing the flexibility of the hips and the and the drive of the support leg, heel on the ground for now. Timing also, like yeah, time. Yes, Ron. So actually, it's the driving leg that helps you to move your hip, rotate uh, the hip. Like ultimately, they're all connected. Ultimately, like one is going to inevitably affect and help the other. Was. But at the moment, like let's just focus on the driving leg. But yeah, yes. if if you if you if you do your driving leg well, your hips inevitably will be driven forward as well. Don't worry so much about the kicking now, yeah? Just, just think about that, that, that power in that kick that supporting leg. So as your knee comes up and your weight goes past your, the center line, then boom, you're driving it forward. That's all you try to do, yeah? Okay, okay, yeah, man. So, so, of course, long distance, yeah? So, so from, from here, then I, it's not just that average my game. I've really got to use that support and then boom to drive in, yeah? I've got to make sure that I reach it, that feeling, yeah? So, again, you've got, like if you do it all right, you've got the snap of the my game, of the uh, core twitch. You've got the engagement of your, your, of your tilting of your hip, and now the driving of that my game. Is that the same technique? First element, second element, third element. Each element has that, well, the, the more elements, the more distance you're gonna get. Understand? Okay, so again, just try. Try to target, try no target, whatever you wanna do. Try to keep that supporting leg flat and still now though. Even though you're driving, taking it to the drive, taking the, the drive of your leg to the extreme, you're not kind of lifting your heel off or sliding. Yeah. Um, uh, the yes, Thomas. Leg, yes, the support foot is a little bit of twist, okay, or foot should still be pointing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, mate, guys, just just watch, 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 watch. Then look. Uh, uh, so then it depends on how flexible you are. Like, okay, if I just turn this, okay, just follow it. Okay, if I can, I can go forward, 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 and like basically my, my foot is still pointing to where it is, right? I'm, I'm fairly flexible with my uh, right ankle. If I change it, and then my foot's pointing forward, and okay, then, then I lose, I, I'm not great, I've got the same amount of flexibility in this leg. So inevitably, or my ankle, should I say, so inevitably, the, the more distance I make, the more that this is going to open. So this is, this is just a case of flexibility. Then as a training method, as a training method, we kind of want to try to not do that as we as we leave the ground because we want to we want to maximize that that kind of drive uh, and using the thigh. Now for sure using your calf as well if you're coming off the ground is something that we can practice, but we do that all the time, like when we walk or run for that. So for now, just try to keep that foot flat on the ground. Driving in with that leg, we're keeping the foot flat. Oh, yes, thank you, Santa. Okay. Okay, last minute, guys, last minute. <coughs> Again, same rules, guys. Keep control of your upper body. Keep control of your Kamai. No kind of chicken wings. Mihal, relax your shoulders more. Relax, relax, relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Linda, I can see your heel coming off the ground. That's it, that's it. Super control, Donald. Zena, go for it. No control. Ah, Zena. Okay, I'm in. Good. Everyone understand? 
Yeah, I, I mean, I think I think so often we 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 look at um, kind of kicking techniques in in such a small range. You know, like we wouldn't do the same with a punch. Like arguably, we could say that okay, we have uh, Orozuki and Tate Ken and uh, Sei Ken or Chokazuki and Kizamazuki, but ultimately this is the same punch, right? Uh, and but for the fact that we're giving them three, four different names means that uh, that we can you know we can conceptualize it because it's a different different name, different technique. When in essence, it's just the same technique, just a different range. Well, you know, we don't do the same with with kicks. Like we don't we don't do kind of like this. We don't do kind of you know this my giddy and this my giddy and then this my giddy and then even Tommy Conde my giddy. We don't do these. We don't give them separate names, right? It's just my giddy. But it's important that we do uh, still conceptualize it in that way, though that there, these kicks can be used in a different ranges and depending on the distance, it depends on what what kind of a uh, uh, way of creating power we use. Understand? Yep. Okay. Okay. So let's let's just do a quick drill to, to do that. Yeah? Okay. So every uh, left leg forward, take that. Okay. So really tight. Knee to your chest. Feeling kind of abdomen squeeze. Short range. My again, your back. Knee. Okay. Next one. Same thing. But then use your tailbone to drive forward instead of forward. Knee. Okay. Then from here we can rotate. And then long leg is Okay, left from here, left leg. Short range, medium range, rotate, and long range down. Back to where we start, yeah? Hope you've got the space, yeah? Basically, one pace that way, one pace that way, back. So three kicks. First kick, step back. Second kick, step forward, turn. Third kick, step forward, rotate. Oh, sorry, not rotate, yeah? Okay, so short range, medium range, knee, rotate, turn. Okay, short range, Medium and deep, rotate, turn. Okay, okay, slowly one count. So we're going short range, medium range, rotate, long range, inch. Okay, deep. Have we got it? Have we got enough space? Hope so. Okay, then be strict with yourself, guys. Like what's important in the first one is equally important in the second one. What's important in the second one is equally important in the third one. Like maintain that fast twitch for both one, two, and three. Like maintain fast twitch and, and tail tilt for two. Fast twitch, tail tilt, tailbone tilt, and leg drive for three. Understand? Okay, one count, three kicks. Let me see. Okay, so half speed. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and knee. Okay, let's try spin power, you right? Okay, Tum. Chee. Go. Uh, one more, one more. Kiai Ro. Cha. Ah, relax. Good. Understand? Yes? Okay. Any questions? Very, very okay. Nick's okay. Well, his hair's not. Oh, you see the top knot on that Nick? It's worse no, than Ross. Look at it. Look at it. Nice. If, if a doctor came to me looking like that, I wouldn't trust him. Just saying, Nick. Just saying. It's cool, Nick. Good job. Oh, so cut it off in a couple of years, Sensei. Yeah, it looks like you, di you, you diagnosed me with something exotic and, and, and kind of prescribed some sort of mushroom for me. <laughs> It'll be my graduation present to you. I'll chop it off. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought you were going to give me mushrooms. Graduation present. I, I, okay, I you've got hair envy, Sensei. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay, left leg forward. Then low range, very kind of uh, relaxed. Then all the way through, kicks aside. This kind of a, 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 a kiagi, kiagi and back. Try each. In. Asa. She. Go. Ruk. Shich. Hatch. Kup. 
And yo! Okay, change on the left. Okay, itch. Knee. Sun. Shoot. Go. Roll. Okay, guys. So this is kind of low range, close quarter kiyagi. And again, it's that like this time we're using our side muscles yet to get that nil. But we're not using our hips. So uh, I'll show you from the side. So, so from here, normally, you know, like if I'm teaching kiyagi, I teach uh, how to use your hip, which for sure we're going to do that in a minute. But for now, actually, my hip comes back almost. This way. So I'm, I'm hitting about the foot, like I'm exaggerating a little bit, foot's a little bit offline, like 45 degrees almost. And, I, and I'm letting my hip fall in as I, I send that leg out. This way. You know when, like a, like a really bad kiyagi? So most people do really bad kiyagi, but hard, like they do this kiyagi, but they do it kind of medium range, so it ends up kind of looking like this. They don't use the hip and they just try to kick hard. That kick is fine. When it's just your thigh you creating the power and your and your obliques creating the power to kind of bring that up. If you go a little bit higher, then you should use your hip a little bit more because you're going further distance. But for now, short range, knee height, groin height, foot kind of 45 degrees, still kicking, feeling with the heel, out of the heel, but just snap and squeeze that core. Want to sound? Give it a go, guys. Try. Any questions, just ask. Sensei? Yes. Sorry, what part of the foot are you hitting with? Outer edge of the heel. Outer edge of the heel, that bit there. Us. Yeah. So if your toes are pulled back, just like my area, yeah? but obviously not using the ball of the foot, but yeah. Okay, I'm here. guys, just watch. Watch me kick Rue. Uh, uh, like you can't really, can't really do this, but, but ultimately you're just kind of doing a low kick. This way, fast, short, boom, infinite. Not really using my hip. Like uh, this is just coming in. Then you're going to knee or groin, back knee, but either way your hip falls back and it's a short range kick. You understand? Like if, if it was further, then I probably wouldn't, like if it was further away, then I'd start to use my hip and I'd start to kind of, you know, go further in. That feeling. But this close court again, kind of touching distance, oh, this hip falls back as this foot goes out. You understand? Yeah. Try guys, give it a go. It's something that we don't practice that often, but like if you practice kiyagi properly, it's easy to do. But it's something that kind of a lot of people do at a higher height and think it's kiyagi, but it's not really. It's not, it's like Giran kiyagi, certainly not Chudan or Joran kiyagi. Feel like you, yeah, Elizabeth, you're doing it kind of uh, like you're doing a, a proper kiyagi. Okay, well, this is, this is a proper kiyagi, but you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're rotating your hip back in, yeah? Don't, just let your hip fall. This one, yeah? Still try to get the outer edge of your heel as, as, the, as, the, to, as the weapon though, yeah? You can control your foot, pull your toes back, outer edge of your heel. Uh, Linda, don't start so much from Zen Kastach, more like she's in natural position, yeah? Remember, same as that close range Maigeni, it's your core and your, your thigh that's creates that twitch to get that meal feeling and then let it fly that short distance. Okay, okay, good. Okay, so again, guys, just try, try this. So again, you're in Shizen time, like close quarter and then a little bit longer and use your hip. So of course, second one, so try Ginan and then Shudan. So Ginan, foot up, then this, as you, as, you, as you prepare, you're going to prepare the same way, but then as your leg flies, then you're going to use your hip. 
You're gonna rotate your hip, tilt your hip, two, make normal kyai. Okay, knee try. Okay, so low, medium, short, medium distance. Short range, medium distance, low level, high, medium level. Then Peter, don't feel the need to lean over, yeah? If you can't, if you can't do it without leaning over, just still kick, kick to get on, get on's fine. Just make the distance, the length of your kick different. Target doesn't have to be different. Then Rolf, like after that second one, you should feel like you're stepping in afterwards, yeah? Short range, you're, you're kind of coming back to where you are. Medium range, you're having to follow through a little bit because you've driven your hips in. That means just your weight, body weight's gone in a little bit more, yeah? Head up, Matthew, back straight. Okay, Yami, guys, just, just watch, watch. So, look, just like, like this is just replication of the of the Mai uh, like uh, practice, yeah, where we did short range, then medium range, then forward, yeah? So, the thing about medium range is that, like, it's a little bit further away. So, you've got to have a sense that you're, you're driving your body mass in, uh, chasing targets or trying to hit the target, yeah? Whereas the short range, target's already there, touching distance bomb, you're just using that, that twitch of your core to create the movement, yeah? And we can really, we can, we, if we've got time, we'll try to kind of uh, uh, show how this works in punching techniques as well. But, but ultimately, short range, touch, touch and distance, it's not so much about kind of like sending my body mass in, it's just about using my body mass in that short range distance. Next one, I've got to make it a little bit farther away. So I've got to drive in. I've got to tilt, rotate, twist, get my hip in to follow. Okay, the next one, I want you to use that chikwash. Okay, so we're gonna use the same leg. We can rotate and then drive in with that chikwash before changing, yeah? So short range, medium range step in, and then long range stepping in. Did I go to camera? Understand? I'll show you, I'll show you again maybe where you can see. Uh, let me go further back. So, so first of all, short range. Short range, like she's anti feeling, just that twitch, twitch and back. Next one, twitch and put hip. Next one, same one, we're gonna go with the same leg, we're gonna use this cheek wash, come round and drive the hip, use that cheek wash. And then we can change into our left side. Short range, medium range, and then long range using that. What is that? But you get the idea, I keep on going off the camera, but never mind. Okay, give it a go, guys, let me see what you're doing. Nick, you don't have to make such a big stance. Like just she's entire, yeah? not, not from Zenkutsu. Again, watch that guard, Michal, you're not the only one, like a lot of people's shoulders are lifting as you're doing that last one, yeah? Don't put your effort into your upper body, put your effort into your supporting leg. Yeah, I think, Linda, maybe that wall was stopping you, yeah? But, well, kick the floor with that support leg on that third one, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Reva, support leg ball on that third one. Okay, I mean, guys, just watch. Watch, 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 a few of you are doing this, yeah? Like this third one, right? I'll show you, I'll show you from, I'll show you from this angle, yeah? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick this way, I've just done, okay, imagine I've just done one, two, driving in, I'm going to kick this way. This is my leg. This is what I want to do. I want to get my foot across that sharp, sharp lift of my knee. I'm going to rotate my hip, but drive it with this leg. This leg here. This is the one that's kind of adding that extra distance. This support leg is driving it. So I'm getting, I'm getting that, if I tend to Kokomi, I'm getting a drive feeling, yeah? That complete drive in feeling with that supporting leg. What a sound? It's like put different emphasis on each one, yeah? Again, it doesn't have to be high. Don't go for height, go for length. They can all be gidan if you want, but short range, medium range, long range. 
If you have the ability, then make it Giran Churan Jonah. Yeah, not bad, Barry. Uh, Brian. What was it? Sam more snap. Still Kiagi, yeah, snap, snap, snap. Back straight, Paul, you're leaning a little bit, yeah? Paul D, yeah. Okay, Ame. Good. Everyone understand? Yes. Can I get it? Yep. Short, medium, long range. Okay. If you can, shoot Giran, shoot on Jora. But like that's that's the least important, most that's the, the superficial aspect of it. But it, if you can kick that high without it kind of breaking the line, then it's a really good way of kind of really, really focusing on that, especially that third one striving, like pushing it in for a good Joran kick, yeah. Okay, okay, guys, let's uh, let's do the same thing. Oh, we're really sorry. Okay, last one, very quickly. Okay, let's do again, like nice relax Shizen time. This very close range, kind of my and washing area around. Like just watch it. Like, if, if like it's super close, then you know, like having this sense of being able to come round. Then again, it's just it's just going kind of across my body. This way, I'm, again, I'm kind of or like more washing area, traditional more washing area. Uh, where you're kind of trying to get, uh, you know, like horizontal. This is kind of 45 degrees. 45 degrees, close quarter. So I'm still touching this earth, boom, kicking in here. Understand? So, so first of all, 45 degrees coming up, coming across your body, knee lift, more watching area back. Next one, horizontal. Horizontal body rotation. Body rotation, round. Okay, then the last one we're going to turn, and then long range washing it. Okay, understand? Okay, let's try every together. Left leg forward. So left leg forward. So medium short range, forty five degrees, kicking about each. Medium range, engage your kick, rotation knee. Okay, rotate my leg. Then long range turn. Okay, left leg short range. Medium range heel, long range turn. Okay, short, medium, long, short, medium, and long range. Understand? Okay, give it a go, guys. Couple of minutes, let me see what you're doing. First one, all about the abdomen core. Second one, all about the hip rotation. Third one, all about that chikawash, supporting leg. Okay, yeah, yeah, mate, guys, just watch, just watch two seconds. Then, like I just touched upon it a little bit there, but uh, um, like the course changes, yeah? Like, like, like especially with the structure of your body, so, you know, you, you're not gonna, there's no point bringing it out because then it, you handle the hip rotation. So you rather than, you know, like traditional washi, put the hip out and um, hip rotation. Well, like by the time you rotate your hip, you're too close. So you're just kind of replicating that rotation, Mawashi game literally kind of kicking from the round, kicking from outside. You're doing that, but you're just bringing this, this knee across your body. This way, this way, across your body, yeah? That's the first one. Second one, you're relying on a much more of a circular nature. So you're rotating, so this foot is coming to the side, but you're rotating round. So it's your body mass that is rotating, rather than getting your knee across. The third one though, it's about that chikawash. So by the time it actually hits, it's much more, it's become almost straight. Like first one coming across your body, second one circular, 
third one is almost straight. So, so like you might think about kind of kicking long range for Washigeni, then it's much more about kind of getting that more that, that driving in. Really. Think about like you know, worst case scenario, like you you're you know like you, you're sacrificing the power that you can create just to hit someone. So, like for example, competition, yeah. So I'm sacrificing everything just to score that point. Do you understand? And then it then it becomes because this driving leg is creating the power, then it's almost straight as I do it. So only core coming round, one in. But only rotation round. And then jikalash, one completely different. Understand? Okay, one more minute, guys, give it a go. Oh, uh, Roger, be careful of your upper body, yeah? Too much sw swinging with that backhand, with that right hand as you can with your right leg. Okay, I'm good. Okay, okay. Everybody understand? Every good? Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, uh, I said we'd uh, we'd kind of uh, we've only got a couple of minutes left, but um, like I want you to have the feeling that, like, like for example, if I was quite close quarter, then then this rotation is not really going to kind of create much power, yeah. But this Twitch feeling. Like you don't have to, you don't have to be in shoulder to punch. Like you can be in handy and you're just twitching, twitching from your core. This feeling, yeah, it's quite close quarter distance. A little bit further, then of course I've got that rotation power. Rotation power, right? And of course the twitch. A little bit further than that, maybe I'm gonna use my driving leg, rotation power, twitching in, or even further away, I'm gonna use that complete J to drive completely in, right? Case by case by case. Like we don't, we, we consider this a lot in punching techniques because we, we punch at different distances. But we should also kind of kind of think about that with uh, with kicking techniques as well. Do you understand? Okay, we all the time, like for example, <laughs> like, like so often is the case that we think that we have to, uh, like we get kind of, um, uh, we get kind of like uh, kind of imprisoned by that thought process that when you kick, you must rotate. You kick in my game, but you can kick across your body if you're twitching. This is easy, right? You can easily kick, okay? Or you can, you know, you can come round. Like you don't have to have that rotation if if that's the range. Do, do you understand? It's just like if I'm here, I don't have to rotate. I can just twitch, twitch my core to create that movement. So, so like I want you to try to kind of apply the same principles of the same kind of open mindedness that you would apply to your punches with kicking techniques as well. Suzanne? Yeah. Any questions, guys? So, so presumably the, the theory holds for blocks as well. Well, the only thing about blocks is that generally speaking, there's no, there's, 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 there's a very small distance. So, you know, like I'm gonna block from my kind of defensive range to my, oh shit, I've made a mistake range. Yeah. There's, there's very little kind of like, I'm not gonna go out to block someone. I'm not gonna kind of purposely elongate or, or lengthen my technique in order to block. I'm only gonna block when it's dangerous. So um, in that sense, you would never, you would never kind of use a, uh, you'd never, there's no close, medium, long range block. There's only kind of medium to short range blocks. Uh, but 
Having said that, um, for sure, the same principles of twitching from your core, using your hips, using your stance, uh, do apply. And when you start involving Tysabaki body evasion, then they do apply. So for example, you know, if close quarter, uh, like if we're close quarter and no attacks, then I'm just kind of twitching. I'm like, I'm, I'm twitching from my core to block. If it's a little bit farther away, then maybe I'm kind of using my hip. If it's a little bit further away, then maybe I'm using twice as much to go, you know, to that body invasion. So yeah, you can you can think about it in that same way. How you're twitching from your core, how you're rotating your hip, how you're using your leg. Thank you. Anything else, guys? No? Okay, we've got two minutes, excellent. Let's finish with one kicking drill. Okay, so, so from here, yo. Good thing, stretch. Good thing, stretch. Okay, so nice relax. My itch. Your big itty knee. I'm washing any sand. Come back. Okay, again, slow itch. And knee, sand. Okay, last time stepping back. Okay, step back. Okay, change leg. Okay, this is about twitching from your core, using your hip correctly. Not your chikwash, you know, like you're going to use your chikwash for controlling your balance, but you're not going to use it to drive because you don't want to drive forward onto the side because you want to step back every single time. Okay? So, my itch, your giddy, and what you Control your upper body. Okay, itch. And knee. Sam, watch you step back. Don't step forward. One more, itch. And knee. And Sam. And step back, good. I mean, you don't have to kick high, just have to kick well and control, yeah? Okay, change leg. Okay, guys, let's do a spin part, yeah? One count, three kicks. Okay, you ready? Yeah, Okay, change it. Okay, guys. Please get out of my side. Thank you.